Welcome, Mantiscope. Hello, it's healthcare startup, Mantiscope. First of all, I will talk about the blood cancer diagnosis statistics in the United States. For every three minutes, there is one diagnosis of leukemia or lymphoma. And for each year, 180,000 people are diagnosed with a blood cancer. And the number of hematologists are 4.21 to 1, that's used for the diagnosis of 100,000 population. Then it's not an easy task to reach these hematologists. Because of that, the diagnosis duration is 25 days. Now, the problem. The blood samples are prepared from one drop of blood, then they are analyzed by a physician over a microscope. By a simple calculation for only diagnosis, 4.5 million tests occur in a year. But here, the diagnosis hit rate is really low. It's 5%. It's to say that a physician looks for 100 slides, only five slides is risky. Now our solution. We have a slide scanner product. It's a new generation microscope with autofocus functionality. It scans the samples and uploads the images to the cloud. Then at the cloud, there's an artificial intelligence which eliminates the arm risky patients. The risky patients are gathered to the hematologist as a digitized data. More clearly, there is a sample of leukemia patient. It's analyzed with AI. Then the objects are detected and statistics are sent to the physician. Then the accuracy is 92%. It's verified in peer review journals and also the international conferences. Now the blood test market size is about $55 billion. Now hematology is 5%. Our competitors are divided into two, with capacity and cost. We are at the low cost and low capacity side, but we have a different business model. Our project has started in 2016. Then we have a partnership with the Department of Hematology of the Hacettepe University with our medical advisor, professors, and hematologists. And also we as a co-founders as PhD or PhD candidate in the specific fields. Now the partnership is the measurement for the specificity and sensitivity. For the marketing, we have two types of payments, full installation or test-based payments. And at the end of this year, we aim to installation of five medicine faculties. We have a total aim of 16,000 installation at the year of 2024. We have two investment rounds. For the first round, we are ready to market, but we are on the certification level and clinical validation. And the second round, we have marketing to different continents. Thank you very much. Judges, what questions? Uh, I was unclear whether your devices are in use right now today in April 2019. Uh, it's installed to Hacettepe University in the medicine school. Then uh, we are making tests about the measurement of the specificity and sense. We are gathering samples. But uh, every, every day, uh, for example, 10 samples are gathered with our device. And they are at the cloud and sent. And we are measuring the specificity and sensitivity. It's the terminology for the medicine. When, when will you finish with that process and then be able to roll this out to the five uh, faculties? In October, that you it will finish, but for the market, it's not required now. It's on the certification with the notified bodies is enough for the market. But clinical validation is important for the European Commission new regulation standards in 2017. Yeah, I was just going to pick on that one. So the, the clinical validation, um, what hurdles are remaining? How much of the funding that you're asking for is going to be devoted to that? Um, just as an investor, what, am I putting money into research, or am I, uh, or is this already at a stage where it can be commercialized? Uh, the money is given for the clinical validation and certification processes for the European Union. It's first round investment we want for, but the uh, money that is taken is decrease the duration of the first round and the second round. If it's higher, we get more attempt to the other continents to sell this device or to install. It's it's. Uh, its quantity is important for us to decrease the duration between the first and second round, and also clinical validation will increase. Okay. Has your team built and shipped medical devices in the past, other types of medical devices? No. Just real quick, by the way, your presentation is much improved over the other day, so very good job. What kind of IP do you, um, do you hold for the, this, these products and this research? For this product, we have a patent pending application, but you know the patent process is really high. It's two year, three year. 
we have made the research for patents, and the business model is important. The system model is important here because we have many competitors, and it's a big market. The bullet cell analysis is a big market, but uh, as we grow, we, we have own business model. It's elimination because AI prediction is not enough yet. There is always need a hematologist or a physician, and technology is growing, but it's not enough now. There is, at this end, there has to be always a hematologist. Any additional questions? Excellent, nice job, way to go. I